love President Trump? Brother, come on, man. Do you love white people? I, I, All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And we got Jesse Lee Peterson in the building today. This will be my first time checking out any of his content. And after doing a little deep dive on the interweb, supposedly he's a conservative radio host and pastor. So that's super cool. Uh, I figured why not start with some of his most savage moments just to get a feel and see what he's all about. So should be a fun one. Let's get it popping. There was a so-called gay pride parade in, in uh, West Hollywood. Uh-oh. <laughs> a mess. Did you know that the month of June is so-called Gay Pride Month? The whole month. The entire month. So we went up to Hollywood to find out what are they proud of. Why are they proud of being a homosexual or a lesbian? <laughs> Amazing. Why you say it like <laughs> One thing about evil, one thing about anger, which is evil, it will destroy you, your family, the cat, the dog, the grass, the house, the paint on the house, and everything else around. Anger loves no one. Mm. No, no, no. A transgender is a man or a woman who feel like the opposite of what they are. They don't have to have the surgery. No, you're, you don't know the terminology. Yes, I do. I'm telling you. A transgender person is a man who feel like a woman or a woman who feel like a man. They don't have to have the surgery. Some of them go and have the surgery and now they're starting to regret it and they want their body parts back, but somebody dumped them in the trash and they can't find them. <laughs> Hello? Because they're going against what God created them to be. There's men, there's women. That's it. You could chop it up. You could try to fill in this, that, dress up and play house however you want to talk as, as fancy and uh, sugar tanked as, as you want to. But at the end of the day, you're a man or a woman. And that's how you're going to be ad addressed by me. And it sounds like Jesse as well. So, hello. What, are you what saying? I'm saying is that all of us, no matter what we do, no matter who we are, we're raised in the United States, which the United States is a holy fundamentally from its founding racism has been part of of our country and so to say so that you to are say that racist? holy and racist no, <laughs> what no i'm not i'm an anti-racist i'm an active anti-racist but you say you have something in you against black we, people yeah we all do what do you have against black people um nothing that i could ever put my finger on but again <laughs> I, I think well, it's, how do you I think know I'm you being have pretty, something i think i'm being pretty honest with my answer here how do you know I, you have it then if you can't put your finger on it um because I think it exists in all of us. I think it's oh, it's it's what growing up in America theory, huh? is. Because we, it's uh, <laughs> you know, we are raised with all these of things. us. Meaning all the white people, and Jewish people, think, or black people. Do I think black people can be racist? No, I think you racism. Don't think black people can not be racist. Race, can they be prejudiced and biased? Yes. So but all racism, other races race, can be racist no, except black people. No. They're excluded. Racism huh? is about power. <laughs> And you need to have power in, in, in the society in order to be racist because you, racism means you are, you are actually... One it, last thing then about that. Is Obama and Oprah and Bill Cosby, are those people racist? They have power. Yeah, not that I'm aware of. But they have power. You should have to <laughs> have they, power. Are they racist? No, because honestly, the black community in America, even if the, even if the <laughs> president, if, even if the president is black that doesn't mean that we don't have racism in our country. So why? And that doesn't mean that there can't be racism no, no, against no. black people. You said that you can't be a racist if you don't have power. Right. And yeah, black yeah. people don't have power. I named you a few black people peddling. with power. That is not, and you said they can't, not they're not power, racist. Jesse. Jesse, the president, you think the president actually makes most of the decisions? Do you, do you, who's, who funds his campaign? Who got him elected? I mean, yes, he's a black president. He's the first black president. I want to ask and this. Oprah is a very wealthy individual. But to say that they have the same kind of social power that the ruling white class of America so, has, that's just okay, not so true. Okay, so give me yes or, just a quick yes or no. Yeah. Obama, Oprah, yeah, Bill yeah. Cosby, yeah, yeah. and all those uh, black folks with money yeah, yeah. and power are not racist. They can't no. be racist. No, I don't think they're racist. I think, can they be prejudiced and biased? Yes. But they can't be racist, right? They can't have, black. they can't impose give a policy a yes no. of discrimination. No, no, no. Give me a yes they, no. no, they can't be racist. So, but in order to be a racist, you got to have power. You have to have real power. And you Obama have real... doesn't have real power. No. He's the president. No. He, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does Eric Holder, the attorney general, have oh, real power? Lord. Um, I think insofar as he goes along 
with what the establishment wants, then yes. But if he steps out of line, he gets reined back in. The Attorney General of the United States of America does not have power. Let me let me ask you a question. Yes or no, Do first. you think? Yes or no, because of time. No, no, okay. I don't. <laughs> All right. Get him off the line. Did you vote for President Trump? <laughs> nah, Trump. Uh, Trump, man. <laughs> Donald Trump. He taking our he taking our state into a hellhole. By doing how? Because how he taking all the free money and stuff, man. What? He's taking the free money? Yeah, he's, he's taking just, all our dough, man. Taking all the dough, I just doing too. dumb shit. What what free money is he taking? Damn, you asking too much shit. shit. All the motherfucking free money. Donald Trump though. You're late. That right there is the definition. That's a prime example of most people in society today. Brainwashed by nonsense. But then when you just ask him a simple, respectable question, how? How is he taking all the free money? Trump didn't even take the salary that was, was given to him for doing the job of being a president. He didn't even take that. He donated it. He didn't need that money. He was a billionaire. He actually tried to help people with the taxes. Have you looked at the policies and the laws that he tried to put into place in his one term? Can you imagine if he would have got two terms, the economy was already booming in the four years that he was in office. Now we got Grandpa O Biden in there. Look look what it's doing. Look at the inflation rates. Look at, is your pockets and your bank account looking as, as nice and cool, calm, collected and composed as when Trump was in office? How's those gas prices doing? Do you, do you quench up every time you go to the pump? I know I do. My money's good. I'm blessed. But it's still, I don't want to pay that at the pump if I don't have to. Trump was not taking the money. And these people, man. Common sense is amazing, ain't it? it, it it's just an amazing thing. And it's hard to come by these days. But thank God a select few Vo people with voices still possess it. And I can tell this man has a lot of gold nuggets and I'm sure whether this has all his savage moments or not, I'm sure you probably can't put it within a, a nine minute video. I can't wait to further examine what Jesse Lee Peterson brings to the tape. I'm liking this so far. I'm liking just how blunt and straight to the point he is. You're late. Apologies yes, for the I vulgarity. Am. Wow. I noticed that all my black guests are late most of the time. Why is that? Okay. I, I, um, I, uh, it's, it's a lot of traffic in Los Angeles. I know, but you leave Excuses. on time for a radio show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason I'm talking to you about it, because I noticed that, you know, when we have Hispanics come in or whites or any other race, they are on time. Matter of fact, they're waiting in the lobby. Okay. But every time I'm black, we invite black people to come, they're late. Well. Is that like a curse on black people or something? I don't think it's a curse. I know curse. they call it CP time as well. Is it a CPT. curse or, what is, or lack of respect? Or what is it? Tell me. what You're a smart lady. I can tell by looking at you. Well, you're a smart man. I can tell by looking at you. No, I'm black and slow. But what is that? Is it a curse on black people? I thought we were supposed to be talking about the war on poverty. No, we are, but you're late and I, uh, I, I don't understand it. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that I'm late, Anna. It's not a curse, though? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Why well, would it be a curse? Because it happens so often. And well, the re the reason why I was late was because of my 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 uh, 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 uh my uh, uh, editor friend, blame, Randall. <laughs> blame it on the traffic and blame it on Randall. <laughs> Everybody but poor Randall in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> and they were talking about poverty. I'll have to see the, the full interview someday. But you're talking about poverty and you don't show up late, and then you probably blame everybody else for why you're broke. But w the way I was raised. Early is on time, Five, whether it's 5, 10, 15 minutes, that's respectable. That's being accountable and responsible for whatever it is, whether you show up for an interview, your job, or whether you show up to, to take the trash out on time. You make sure it's there when it needs to be there, not five minutes late, 10, ain't no CPT. If you want something and you want people to respect you and, and pay you for your, your time and your services, be on time. That's one of the simplest things you could possibly do. Whether you got to get up five, 10 minutes early or not, whether you... Don't blame the traffic. Don't blame your your editor or whoever she just blamed. Look in the mirror. Take take accountability. And if you are late, apologize for it. Say, you know what? I was I, I didn't set aside the necessary time and the means to get here on time today. That's that's all it comes down to. I mean, I would respect people a whole lot more if they just owned up to their actions. And there's a cause and effect for everything. And if you want something, you gotta you gotta go out there and get it, or you're not gonna get it. It's that simple. Under He's traffic, black blame it on random. <laughs> Poor random. Yeah. <laughs> He cried tears of joy for his mother when she came out as a lesbian. 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 He sounded like uh, Rocky when he was like, <laughs> Rock, from the old Rocky movies. What was it? Uh, Adrian. <laughs> See, my white and slow or quarter black and slow. That's me. Adrian, lesbian. <laughs> Adrian! Adrian! Who cried? This man is a liar. He is a miserable liar. So I'm standing at the star of uh, the Great White Hope, Donald Trump. This is his star. 
it was attacked Big during orbs. the primary, presidential primaries, and so it got some, it has some cracks in it, but it is still alive and doing well. The Great White Hope. This is his star. That's what they right call it. Right Hollywood Boulevard Big in 45. Hollywood, California. Do you love President Trump? Brother, come on, man. This is what I'm talking about. You have to be quick. Yes, listen, listen, no. listen to what I'm telling you, brother. All right, I'm being really clear with you. You're an older, you're an older elder, so I have to respect you. But you have to respect the younger generation and being more conscious. And real quick, yes or no? no, no on you that. keep you keep taking the mic away from me. I know, but yeah. I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> well, you got plenty of time. You have to be more conscious about what you're asking. You need to be, as a commentator, more informed about politics before you iterate, because it's the people behind the microphones that are spewing out these things that are not. To be true that's amazing that's not, that's not true do you love white people I, I, listen to what I'm telling you, okay? You got to be clear oh. about what racism is. It's coming out, Are you now. clear and, and, and profoundly understanding what racism means? What, what is it? Racism is a prejudice that impedes you from moving forward. So if I don't like him because he got on, because you have on a blue shirt, that's one thing. But if I don't give you a job because you have on that blue shirt, now I'm imposing my prejudice becomes Victim racism. Victim mentality. Here we go again. From going and getting ahead and moving forward. The rat race. He asked him, do you love white? people you could have just said yes because at the end of the day whether you look like my man right here you look like myself you look like uh, in anybody anybody we, one race human race it sounds like some fancy slogan but that's what it comes down to at the end of the day love all people love god and love your neighbor treat everybody with respect nobody's holding you down nobody's not giving you a job because what you look like maybe if maybe because you got dreadlocks maybe your pants are sagging maybe how you're you're presenting yourself but not because of your pigmentation maybe it's how you present yourself carry yourself and how you speak or answer questions or lack thereof giving a you know just straightforward do you love trump don't give us this spiel about are you serious yes or no and then why can we get some logical thinking can we get some reasoning behind it not just these these false rhetoric narratives that you're trying to paint give us some reason on why you think the way you think or do you just say what everybody else tells you to think come on now racism i like how you stop you from going and getting ahead amazing and forward. are you still going to that gym yes yes uh, you could ask, right Yep. Did you know they threw me out? The Young Turks. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, no. I got banned Shank. from Econos because of my support of uh, the Great White Hope, President Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you sure it wasn't something else too? No. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> they heard me doing an interview. I was doing an interview on the radio with my friend Bill Cunningham from Ohio, and mm -hmm. the guy um, just went insane. They said he was a uh, uh, radical homosexual, and he got all upset, and one thing led to another one, and so they banned me from the gym, and we were looking at the best way to deal with this right now. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Liberals can't handle the truth. <laughs> Women and whining. <laughs> not all, not all, not all, but most. <laughs> Pause it. <laughs> I love the beat. Shout out to whoever made that video right there. They're holding. Are they really holding Jesse back from getting his gains on? The man can't can't hit a PR. That's a personal record for you nine gym going folks or CrossFitters, whoever out there. He can't get his gains on because who he votes for? No! Because he likes the the Great White Hope is what he called him. I'm definitely gonna use that moving forward. Please believe. Whether you vote for Trump, vote for Biden, at the end of the day, you're entitled to that right. God gave us all free will. But if you're gonna vote for somebody, at least know why you're doing it. At least have some logic and some some reasoning behind it. Whether you stand by their policies, they're a good Christian man, they're whatever it may be. At least stand by why you vote for them, not just vote for them because somebody told you to or because this this false headline that the media ran with and it, it's messed up. But I was amazed by this. And you could tell Jesse thinks for himself. He's one of those guys that most definitely isn't doing uh, the things that others want him to do. And I, I, you just got to love that in today's social climate, owning your own way of thinking and standing firmly. And it. it's just a beautiful thing to have your own opinion and have your own reasoning behind it and not buying into goofy slogans and, and wokeism, but genuinely you in facts and and just having that that reality perspective of what it actually looks like to walk 
day to day nowadays. <laughs> I also love just how laid back he was in his approach and his assassination of stupidity. That's what it looks like he does and delivers on a daily basis. And I'm sure there are many more uh, video clips and things like this. So y'all let me know what I need to check out next, but comment your thoughts below. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Remember, we could disagree on, on whatever the topic at hand is and still be respectful, still be civil and still share our thoughts down below. That's the beautiful thing about, especially here in America, freedom of speech. It, I mean, we still have it now. I don't know how long that's going to last, but we got to keep that right. And we got to keep having these conversations to progress and learn and grow. And I love you, whether you, you hate me or not. That's just how I get down. So I would love to see a whole lot more of JLP. And for those of y'all that have been on my channel for a while, I apologize. I don't have any scripture for you today. It was kind of a fun checking out some savage moments, sort of laughs. And we'll have a lot more things to break down and digest as far as scripture, the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth in the future. Please believe this is what my foundation is. If you're new, that's how I base all my, my views, perspectives. If it doesn't line up with this, I've, I've been on the other side. I've been a, a leftist. I've been a, a just non-God fearing man. It doesn't work out. You end up in the dark, dark places, uh, falling into temptation, lust, sin, promiscuity, just depression, anxiety, all of that. But when you when you pick up this, when you look at look to Jesus, he is the way. That's why I'm rocking this shirt right here. He took on the cross for all of our sin. He didn't have to. He was perfect. And then he beat death. And man, it's just a beautiful thing when you turn and face Christ and you pursue genuine faith and you have that, you build that relationship. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you can get down with that and you want to stay up to date on all my videos. Share this video for JLP, for myself, for whether you agree or disagree with my take on this video. And if you want to pick up this He Is The Way shirt made by my lovely wife, head over to her Etsy store. You can get one, a few of them, whatever you got to do. Uh, we got a bunch of different options as far as sizes, colors, hoodie, sweatshirt, whatever you need. We appreciate the support. I appreciate the love and she puts a lot of time into this so i'll make sure i link that down below go get you a couple of these things and if you want to support the channel even further you can always buy me a coffee donate on paypal tap the little thanks button that has a heart next to it via youtube uh check out all the links in my description section you don't have to do any of that stuff at all i'm grateful for the support for the viewership whatever we've developed in this time i've been on your screen until next time i love y'all i'll be praying for you godspeed i'm gone